Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. In the book of Genesis, it was said that there once was a flood so great that it overwhelmed the entire world. This flood was known as the Global Flood, and all people died from the flood besides a select few chosen by God. Although many people believe that the story is just a myth, there have been hints that supports the legitimacy of this tale. So here are five clues that the Great Flood actually happened. Number one, stories of a great flood has been told in almost every culture in the world. Not only did the stories of a great flood exist in these cultures, many of them seem to indicate that it happened in similar time periods. And at least for me, such ubiquitous presence of flood legends across the world can't just be a mere coincidence. I mean, I don't think efficient communication tools existed back then, so how did they all come up with the story of a great flood? But from Mesopotamia to Nigeria to China, these flood stories and legends are in almost every culture imaginable, and we'll get to these stories in another video. Although nowadays these are thought to be mere myths, we have to understand that it's not like people back in the day could vlog about something and upload it to ancient tube. There was no face scroll. Most of the time, stories are how people pass down information about events that actually occurred. So maybe the reason there are myths and legends about a great flood from all around the world is because people from all around the world actually witnessed a great flood. Number two, evidence of a great flood flood in China. Like in many other civilizations, ancient texts say the Chinese civilization began due to a great flood. Recently, archaeologists have found evidence of a great flooding of the Yellow River that provides clues about the Xia dynasty, which is the almost mythical first dynasty of China. Legends say there was a flood that had waves as tall as a 30-story building and crushed anything in its path, even toppling mountains and seemed like it would never stop. Lands in China were submerged in water, and it was because the efforts of Da Yu were Yu the Great with his innovative ideas who gathered the people and eventually channeled the water back to its source, thus saving China and becoming the ruler of the Xia Dynasty. Of course, this 4,000-year-old story was believed to be a myth, but recently researchers say it may actually be true. After observing the Yellow River's Ji Shi Gorge area, geologists stated that there was an ancient landslide that created a a dam about 660 feet tall. The dam blocked the river and as a result created a massive lake that rose high above present river levels. Months later, when the water broke the dam, it created a giant flood that destroyed everything in its path. Sediments were found by researchers that gave evidence to a flood that rose as high as 50 meters above river levels. Carbon dating later revealed that the approximate date for the flood would have been around 1920 BC, around the same time as the beginning of the Xia Dynasty. The third clue on this list comes from a study by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. NOAA has recently documented evidence that water levels rose dramatically around 12,000 years ago, which would supposedly rewrite the entire geological history. After looking at satellite images, evidence has been found of water recession during the past 12,000 years. During the same time, there was also a major pole shift that explains the displacement of the icebergs during the end of the last ice age. This shows that there could have been a great flood that happened thousands of years ago that was caused by a pole shift due to changes in the magnetic resonance of the earth. The water from the melting glaciers began to rush toward the world's oceans causing floods all around the world. Number four, submerged civilizations. There are many massive underwater structures and sunken discoveries all around the world. For example, a city was found off the coast of West India in the Gulf of Cambay. The city was said to be 10,000 years old and was completely submerged under 130 feet of water. Fishermen in the area had previously claimed that there were stories passed on from generation to generation of an underwater city in the area, but no one believed them or cared enough to investigate. It was only until a pollution survey test that was made by India's National Institute of Ocean Technology that researchers found huge structures at the bottom of the ocean in that area. The structures that were retrieved were carbon dated to be around 10,000 years old. Like I mentioned, underwater cities like this one are found all around the world. Researchers even discovered wheel tracks, such as the ones in Maltese archipelago where the tracks look like they deliberately plunge off cliffs or up and down very steep ridges, and some even drive off the island and into the sea, continuing underwater. And finally, the Black Sea. This is something that started out as a theory by two Columbia University researchers. According to them, there really was a mother of floods that occurred in the Black Sea 
Sea region. They said that the Black Sea was once a freshwater lake surrounded by land until it was flooded. The force of the water was monumental and it swept everything in its path. In order to investigate the validity of the theory, Robert Ballard, who is well known for discovering the Titanic, decided to look for remnants of the flood. 400 feet below the surface of the Black Sea, Ballard and his team found an ancient shoreline. After carbon dating shells that were on the shoreline, Ballard said that whatever happened in the area occurred around 5000 BC, which is believed by experts to be the time when Noah's flood is supposed to have occurred. I do believe that massive flooding did happen all around the world. It could have been like the movie 2012 where everything was swallowed. It could also be smaller, different scale floods. But I do think there's a reason that there's a story of a massive flood in basically every single civilization there is. But ever since the movie 2012 came out, which freaked the living bejesus out of me, I have been thinking, what if some massive flood happened now? What would I do? I mean, is it safer to get on a plane, but then you have nowhere to land? Or your best bet may be to get into a submarine, but then you eventually run out of food. I mean, I guess you could float on the ocean and just eat fish for the rest of your life. I don't know. What will you guys do? First, let me know if you believe a great flood actually happened. And two, let me know if there's a great flood right now. What would you do? All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you.